came down the shooting area. They're not supposed to shoot. There's still evidence of people shooting here. I saw a bear making noise through the brush. It's coming straight for me. He got to 75 yards. He wasn't that big, but he was a brown, like chocolate. A chocolate bear. So I've had at least seen three bears here. No good shot. But I think I'm gonna come back here. There's a lot of residential stuff down in the valley and on the 1,700 acres here. Yeah. I might get lucky here for a bear. No deer. Plenty of bear. Wow, what a hike. Back in there. Old growth forest. Not virgin. Old growth. There's a marsh and a pond back there. And I saw this huge trail going down into it. And it's like, you know, nothing growing on the ground. Sticks and leaves. I followed the trail down quietly, as, as quietly as I could. Before, I had to strap on the old colt. I did not want to be with a big fucking bear less than 20 yards. You know, I think when I started going down into the drainage, when I started going down into the drainage, I started hearing some rustling and then I heard something drinking water. It's, it's a deep pond. It's not a little pond, and I'm up here on the mountain. Mountain, hill, whatever. It's 1,300 feet up, and there's still berries around. This is the first year that I've gone after bear. Never even considered it. No. I haven't read that book yet, but I think I'm going to get it. Uh, I keep seeing people on the Washington State hunting page. Uh, Berries, yeah, food, water, shelter. And that old growth forest in there. Once you get back into it, it opens up. You know, you can sneak around in there, but it's dark as fuck. It's only 7.15 right now. Whew. I probably look like a goofball wearing all Sitka. But the reason why I bought this shit is because it's the Equinox Guard brand, or Equinox Guard line. Where it's like three layers of mosquito protection. And I've only been bitten twice with this being out in the woods, and that's like with bugs flying around me. I even have a little uh, net I put on my head when I'm sitting still. So I got 45 minutes of daylight left. We're not daylight, the sun's already set. But legal hunting times until 8 15. Today's the 7th. I should be going after elk right now, but. I had to work today and I work tomorrow, so no, and I work all week. So that's gonna suck. You know, I, I think I should do more videos of these. You know, I do archery. I had this bow for four seasons and I haven't taken anything with it. And I'm not gonna upgrade to like a nice bow that I, you know, one of the, what do they call it? Flagship bows. Flagship store, flagship bow. Let me show you guys something. I'm not gonna be quiet right here because when I was when I came up here, there was no one up here. When I got up here, there was like four different couples that were hiking this trail. Oh, fucking on my way up here, there was a two, a couple on those electric e-bikes, and it says no non-motorized. I think people think that means like non-gas, but. It's okay, it's not. I was sneaking in the first mile just to have these two blow right by me. And I'm like, well, might as well just hike up to the clear cuts and see what's going on up there. Check this out. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in the corner. I did hear a cougar when I was over there, so. 
no deer. I'm in a buck only unit or any buck. Check this out. 1300 feet up. It's a fucking view. Right there is Round Mountain. See, right up there on the hill, where they at? Right up there, there's a fucking bunch of people just enjoying the sunset. But This beautiful spot. I'll show you this way. Look down. Huge cliff. 